more consistently and then I'll have I won't have to keep introducing ourselves and reintroducing ourselves and telling you all about who we are and what we do but <laughs> since it's been like I don't know has it been a year since I posted a video maybe less than that actually I think the last video had him in it so anyway we're um, I'm Rebecca Schwind and we are Jolier family dogs we breed Bernadoodles and more on that in a little bit um, one of the reasons why we haven't posted videos in a long time is because we've been deep in the midst of remodeling and and we've got him and we're homeschooling and and so it was something that I kind of let go for a little while but we missed it and um, so we're gonna try to get back to it um, I'm gonna show you what we've been doing with our remodel so here's our kitchen ignore the cereal ready for breakfast um, we kept the cabinets and painted them and then put up new backsplash this open shelf is new um, new flooring new appliances new sink I love this sink we're still waiting on the windows um, it's not super clean because I uh, we're still remodeling obviously we got paint cans all over the place and there's the dining room lots left a little bit left to do in here still um, with the this wall I've got some stuff back and in the living room we took down that closet so hopefully that gives you some insight on why we haven't done much um, videos or social media or anything like that so our house looks like this Jordan, what has Suki been doing? Getting out. Everything. We put it up for Suki. Why are you doing that? Yeah, digging yeah. under the fences. <laughs> okay, but she's not getting out outside of the fence, just into the backyard, right? All right, I want to introduce you to our newest additions to the little homestead. We got cows. It's crazy. So this is Balloon. Balloon is a four-year-old Jersey cow. Um, she is has had calves before. She's been hand milked, and so yeah. So one of our purposes for the cows is milk. Um, try and be more self-sufficient. But um, Balloon's not quite as tame as the other one jody this is jody also a jersey jody was bottle raised so she's super super tame um but she's a heifer so she's never had calves before both of them are bred and due in march 23. <laughs> none of the animals are supposed to be in the boathouse right now but they broke the door back there so, I don't know what we're gonna do about that. What are we gonna do, Jody? We obviously still have the goats. Hopefully not for too long though. Um, we are going to rehome them because um, we have the cows, so the goats. Um, that one right there, she's a dairy goat. And we've been enjoying her milk for like almost a year now, um, but um, we have to limit the number of grazing animals we have here because we don't have a ton of acreage. And so if we have the cows, it just doesn't make sense to keep the goats. These are chickens and they are was supposed to be all hens, but two of them are roosters. Oh no, what are we gonna do? So we, we might kill one of them for meat and we're probably gonna keep one of them. Yeah, 
Chickens would be kind of fun to have chickies, right? Yeah. We actually moved the chickens. We used to have them right there. over there, but I'll show you our whole new layout and setup. Um, so since we built a new pen going all the way up there, and I'll show you the new dog shed, um, it, it just, I didn't want to have the chicken pen surrounded by where the dogs can access. So they're still, they still share this pen, this fence here, and then when we let the dogs in the big backyard, this fence. But um, I also like having a bigger area for the chickens and a nicer shed because that one was kind of falling apart. Um, so the chickens have been um, such an easy and fun project for us. And I love having the fresh eggs. We just went to the grocery store and eggs were like $3 a dozen. So we get them for the cost of feed. And um, we throw all our food scraps, all our garden weeds and scraps in here to help reduce the cost of feed. Um, and they're building up a nice p compost pile in here, which is awesome because next year we'll be able to move that out into the garden to just continue the circle of um, self-sustainability. Yeah. So this line right here, this fence line is where our backyard used to end. Um, but we've expanded it into what used to be, this is used to be our front yard, mostly because of that shed. So we, um, have decided had decided that it wasn't working to have all the dogs use the basement especially when we have puppies because it just wasn't nice for the mama dogs to have to share their space with all the other adult dogs but we definitely wanted to make sure that the adult dogs have an indoor temperature controlled space to be in to keep their food and water in and um, and obviously to get out of the elements and stuff so um, so we had this shed back here built and by a friend of ours and um, originally we were gonna put it here, next to the fence line here, but um, the ground was too sloping and we would have had to, it was just, it was not working there. Um, there was gas line issues and stuff like that. So, so we decided to move it back there over up by the front of our property. And I'm really glad we did because we gained all this yard space that has become so handy to have. So I'm going to show you more of that. This is something that I made. And, and I and can climb on the tree. And what? And, and we can climb all the way up it to the tree. Wow. And, and I, I can climb on the tree. Gordon, can I show mom that? Something? And can I show the It's the strongest thing that I ever made. I made kind of toys. I made a, a toy car Jordan, Jordan. and I made a bridge and pretty much every vehicle that there is. Yep. Mom, um, I mean Jordan, can you get off of there? I need to show you. I mean the camera is that. I mean the camera is the tree. It's a house where wanted to make but now but we changed our mind we and wanted to make like uh so we made the house we still okay. made a house but in a different spot it's in here oh it's so cool and then watch this okay be careful and there's a little chair we can sit and i and i like to lie back on to and then my robot raleigh sits in it it yeah, I see it. Yeah. And that's the only way you can get in. Okay, so this is Miss Suki. She just had a litter of puppies, and we actually still have um, quite a few of them here. Four of them still need homes, so they're ready to go. So um, we'll talk more about them in a little bit. But that's Miss Suki. She's our smallest Bernadoodle. Um, if you've watched any of our videos, you probably already know Miss Akira. She's one of our older mamas. Um, and she's a full bred Bernese mountain dog. She is pregnant right now. So she's gonna have puppies in about a month. Um, 
<laughs> yes, you are. Good job. She, Why is she so fat, though? Because she's not a puppy! She is. Denali, she's a big girl. Oh, my goodness. And even when she doesn't have puppies, she is 130 pounds. Yeah, she's a big girl. But she's healthy. And she is so fat. And, she might, and right now, she might be 135 pounds. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to guess how many puppies she has? Um, my last time she had like, most was 13, so I'm going to guess 12. 12 puppies, oh my goodness. If he had 11. Yep. Uh, my guess is like, um, she was way bigger than it. Yeah. And here's Winston, the proud papa of all these puppies. Hi Winston, Winston's our standard poodle. Um, obviously he has really cool coloring, but he's just the sweetest guy ever. He licks a lot. He licks a lot. I think Minka gets the prize for being the most licky. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can tell us about Minka. So, Minka has one blue eye. Yeah. And... Here, crouch down. And... I don't know why she has a blue eye, and she's my favorite dog, and Minka, I taught Minka how to climb. How to climb? Yeah, she can climb on bushes, and on that thing that I made that she lives on. Oh my. And she has a very puffy tail. Yes, she does. She has the fluffiest tail of all the dogs. And she's shred shedding crazy. She is shedding like crazy. And that is why we like Bernadoodles. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> Minka, Minka, be nice. She gets a little mouthy. We haven't done a good job of training that out of her. She's never like aggressively bitten. It's just sometimes these Bernese mountain dogs like to use their mouths for things. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay, so this is the inside of the shed. It's pretty pretty uh simple right now. We've got all kinds of plans for it, but um it'll it'll work the way it is right now. It's really dirty cuz they like to just lay in the dirt out in the backyard and uh, bring it all in here. But anyway, so the idea is that we've got this area here for them to be in, that's their food. And then this is another area, just every once in a while we need to separate dogs from each other. And so this is that separate area and there's a separate outside pen. Um, yeah, tons of minka hair everywhere. Why are you shedding so much? It's like the end of summer. <laughs> um, we got a mini split to control the temperature, a nice fan. So um, just gives them, gives them a nice comfortable place to be in. And while we're on this little tour, I thought I might as well just show you the, um, the garden and the front yard and all that's going on over here. So come on. What are you doing, Blair? We did a lot more with the garden this year than we did last year. Last year I was pregnant with Walter and um, just couldn't couldn't maintain it. Now, <laughs> while I say that, this is probably one of my least um, maintained areas. We had all kinds of great stuff growing in this front bed at, earlier in the summer, but it was all things like lettuce that um, kind of finished out and I just haven't cleared it out yet. So um, I'll do that soon and maybe plant a few things for a fall harvest. I do have some carrots in here and then just different herbs and stuff. We have a row of older carrots, onions, and beets. The onions and beets are fairly recent, um, so hopefully a fall harvest type thing. 
Uh, my broccoli is pretty much done, although yeah, we got some little side shoots coming up. So we've been just kind of picking at this and eating it as it comes. Cabbage, um, we have a few heads left, but most of it is done as well. Made um, sauerkraut for the first time this year. In this row, I don't know how well you can see it, but are there are bell peppers and jalapeno peppers. So I've never been successful with peppers, but this is the first year that we have. And this is one of my favorite spots, like in the whole world. We did these arched trellises, and um, we have scarlet runner beans going up. We also have cucumbers, which I need to pick a ton of. These are gherkins, so we've been making pickles with those sweet sweet gherkin pickles um, and it's been really fun and they're delicious um, asparagus those were fun to harvest early this year and then <laughs> lots more beans coming up this trellis this is the second trellis and more cucumbers this trellis is also just like a cattle panel and um, we used that for tomatoes this year, and it was awesome. It held them up really well. Um, we've got a ton of tomatoes to harvest. So I've been learning to can tomatoes this year, too. And on the other side of the tomatoes is our sunflowers. This is kind of a weedy area. Down here we have the cantaloupe, watermelon, squash, pumpkins, all that. Zucchini. Zucchini didn't do great this year, but um, that's okay. We got some. Here's our watermelon. It's growing. And then last but not least is our corn, which did not do great this year. Oh well, maybe next year. Come on. Oh, you almost. That's better. I got it fixed. All right. So, whose puppies are these? Suki's, Suki's puppies. Yep. And they are eight weeks old. So, Bravo and Hotel have homes. The rest of them do not. So if you are looking for a puppy and or you know of somebody who does who is we got some puppies available. <laughs> so the puppies we've got these two here are girls. So it's um Charlie and Golf. Golf is the one with more um phantom markings. So you can see like she's got the brown eyebrows and so that's golf. And then that over there is Charlie. Hi Charlie! Did you know I was talking about you? Hi! Charlie has a little bit of phantom markings, but not as much as golf. But still super cute and super sweet. And then we have Echo, this boy down here, the chocolate phantom, and Alpha, this boy. So both Echo and Alpha have brown eyes. They've got some white on their chests. Um, they're really sweet boys. So they're all available. Right, boys? Not hotel. Just okay. So if you haven't figured it out, this is the military alphabet letter. We have Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, um, Delta left already, Echo, Foxtrot, Hotel, Golf, India. It, not in that order.
There's Suki. And then, as of just yesterday, we have a new litter with Izzy. There they are. Hi, Izzy. She's a good mom, but she can be a little protective. So we're just going to be nice and gentle. Hi, Izzy. That's a good girl. Um, we haven't named this litter yet. We're thinking the birds litter. The kids, the kids were talking about like woodpecker and <laughs> well, so we'll, we'll see what we decide on. There are 11 puppies. Um, let's see, males and females. I think it's pretty well split. I don't have the list in front of me of which are which, but lots of merles and lots of really interesting merles like, like this one here. Let's see. I like, has, this one's like a tricolor merle. So it has the phantom markings, the brown markings, white, and then, um, this little blonde one is cute. And this, this is our first spotted one with Izzy. So like, like uh, Golf and Charlie in the other pen. Hi. Um, we've got some chocolate merles. Or I don't. I almost want to call them blonde merles. She's trying to take the puppy from me. Okay, okay, I won't pick it up. We've got a nice pretty black one here. Which I always think are pretty striking. And let's see what else. This one's really, <laughs> is he? This one's really cool right here. Because it's almost like a party merle. And it's got like white spots and the dark spots. And then this one down here is a pretty bicolor chocolate merle. I can't decide. Chocolate or blonde? Should I call them blonde merle? Because they're way lighter than the chocolate ones we've had in the past. Mm, got this one here. There's one. So that's just just Merle. There's one that's like a pretty phantom Merle. Oh, right. Is that it? <laughs> you put your big nose on top of them. I can't see them. Here's the phantom Merle. So it's got the pretty... Pretty phantom markings. She does not like me messing with them. Look at all the progress we made just today. So we got all the um, drywall put up around the wood stove. So getting there, it's taking forever. It's just hard to be patient, but this wall we're gonna leave wood. So yeah.